Well, this afternoon we went, met with a Kansas City woman who adopted orphans from both Ukraine and Russia for this family. They have a mix of emotions, but they're bonding over love and also the unknown. Now I'm, I feel like we're even closer now because, you know, unfortunately my country's invading her country. Since babies, Alexander and Christina have called the U.S. and Kansas City home. It was actually a close adoption, so once I was brought over, all um, ties of communication were cut. Christina adopted from Ukraine. Her brother, Alexander, adopted from Russia. While Russia's invasion of Ukraine is a half a world away for both, it's still very personal. As like a Russian, you know, it's like I'm not really proud of my heritage. It's sad. It's heartbreaking. Like. I wake up and I check the news. Today their living room is filled with pictures from when they were younger and pictures from when Christina was adopted in Ukraine. And this was about a couple days later. Their mother Susan Kreitler thinking back to much simpler and peaceful times when she flew across the world to bring her family together. Years later, not only Ukraine, but also Russia holds a very special place. And it's hard to think Ukraine may never look the same again. I met some wonderful people over there, uh, good, decent people. They wanted the best for the for the little children, and I think about those people, and I uh, on both sides, Russia and in Ukraine. Together, they're all watching the war in Ukraine very closely, but they're all responding very differently. It's been hard because like I'm adopted, so like it was already hard enough to tell everybody that I'm adopted and I'm from Russia, and then now it's like oh, <laughs> from Russia, oh well they're they're invading Ukraine, you know, so it's pretty tough. It's just it's hard to see because Ukraine is a country. And it's sad to say that I am from there, but, you know, if Russia is successful, there will not be a Ukraine. If anything for them, the war is bringing them closer together. I don't know where it's going to end. And their mother says she's thankful for her adoption process. And for a lot of families right now, their adoption process from Ukraine is currently on hold. And there's an estimated 100,000 children in orphanages in Ukraine. Now, there's been a law preventing Americans from adopting from Russia since 2013. Lauren.